Hello there, welcome to Saber Jewel Gaming, where we always take the high ground, and today we are doing a LEGO review of Boba Fett's Starship, otherwise known as Slave One. This is set number 75312 for those that care about those sorts of things, and it retailed for around £45. It also has 593 pieces included in the set. So let's take a little look at the build. Here we have already made the Boba Fett Starship. I'm just going to call it Slave One though because that is the actual name of the ship. And as you can see, the ship is able to freestand. If you have a look from the side here, you can see it is a little bit loose, but it does actually come with um, an additional piece that helps support it. From the back, you can see that it does have the thruster pieces put on, and that little central piece there does actually pull out as something to hold, should you wish to actually play with the set as well. You may also notice that as you lay it back down, the side thrusters or wings, whatever it is they're exactly meant to be, do actually reposition themselves naturally, which is a nice little function. Whilst there isn't a great deal involved in this set, it does have this little cargo hold piece where you can take out this single piece with a sticker on it, which is meant to be the frozen in carbonite um, Gamoran guard. It is unfortunate there aren't different ones. It would have been cool to have a couple of different options available to put in there. The cockpit opens up and has just enough space for one pilot. Obviously, this isn't exactly to scale, but still really fun set. It does actually have these firing single studs, however the levers for that I haven't put in. And as you can see, the carbonite does slide back in quite easily, and it stays in and stands pretty well. Overall, it, it's a really pleasant and really nice build. And then we come to the minifigures, um, and we only have two minifigures with this set, but that's still pretty good. The first one is the Mandalorian, and it's it's an okay figure. It's um, got nice detail on the front, on the side arms, um, and on the back, although that is hidden with the cape. It does have this um, Beskar spear um, as well, and the only disappointment, as you can see there, he said on the back, the only disappointment is, again, there's still no actual face, just this black, plain head set. Um, Boba Fett... A little bit more impressive, it's that new Boba Fett look that was in The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett, which probably makes it a, quite a good selling point. And it also does have um, the face features on, which is pretty good. Um, so overall, that makes it a nice selling point, especially if you're a Boba Fett fan, this would be a really good set. Overall, I'd say this was a relatively fun set to build. Um, no major gripes with it. Um, the minifigures are fine, and um, especially if you're a fan of Boba Fett. Um, if you haven't already got a Slave one, this is a really good set to get. There is obviously the um, larger Slave one available, but if you're looking for a more compact and a little bit of a cheaper set, you can't really go wrong with this, and I would recommend. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more LEGO Star Wars reviews, give me a shout down below. I'm not too sure about these yet, so um, feedback is definitely appreciated.